Well, I did have the uh, the burn ban discussion on administrative, and since Randy's here, I don't know if you want to talk about that first. Okay. I'm just glad it was on this weekend. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> it was um, it was very good to start a fire. Very ridiculous. Would anybody would anything have blown this weekend? I don't know. Well, I don't yeah. think you could have started. Anything would have started this weekend, yeah. and it never got out. Yeah, that's the problem. Good decision on the commission's part, I, mean, I, I believe. Um, but it's, um, what's helped is even though we've had a lot of wind, it's southern wind. The southern wind brings humidity and moisture, so that's that's helped lower the burn, the burn index. So it's gone down because of that. Uh, we're we're moderate, and so we wind up going to, to to lower even tomorrow. Um, so I, I think you're in really but, great shape. But you know, looking forward through the next week, I'm not showing any moisture at all. Yeah, I thought Thursday. Taking it out now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see it since last night. So it changes quickly. It changes quickly. <laughs> um, Plus, we're supposed to have more wind this weekend again. So you're thinking that you we're okay to take it off? Is that what your thought is? Well, I, I, I know. <laughs> from phone calls I've received, I know the fire chiefs are all, all about taking it off. Um, I think this that kind of surprises me. They want to take it off. Yes. Yeah. Well, and and and, and, it's, and, it's, and I and it told me why. It's because some of the farmers want to burn burn piles, and but that's it. They just want to burn their their, their rubbish. Um, no, I mean, you know, I, I don't see where that's mission critical right now this time of year. I mean, we're not in a burn season. No, and yeah, I, I know they have brush piles, but most of them build brush piles during the winter anyway because they're doing some of that kind of stuff. I don't know. Commission, what do you think? Well, I personally think I'm going to leave the decision up to Randy. I'll take his recommendation because that's what the resolution says. I know it says that. Yeah, it's so. still, still dry and windy out. The farmers are just looking for something to do. I guess we would leave it up to your discretion, even though it could it could get dry again quickly. So is there, that's is there not what you thing, wanted to hear. Is there such a thing that we're, it could be lifted and then sprung back when, if if you sure if you see need? According to the resolution, yes. I, I could do it at any moment. Any time, that's right. At any moment, according to the resolution. Mm -hmm. The trouble is, at any moment, might be too late. So well, I'm just saying in the next couple of days they might try to get something done, but then after that you decide that it's not okay. There's, there's a, there's a, folks have mentioned it to me. Um, there's been some concerns, you know. We don't have a single fire department in, in our in our county that hasn't gone to put out a wildland fire or a brush pile that they could wind up going back for a rekindle because it wasn't going to um, and that, that's a concern of some folks that, that aren't farmers. Because <laughs> I don't live on a farm, so I don't talk to farmers. <laughs> so I, mean, I guess that, you know, that this, it's not fair to the farmers to, that way. But, um, you know, it, your call on how you want to go about doing this, I, I, I just see that there's, there's, a, there's a lot of things to think about. Um, as Ken's mentioned, I mean, you guys mentioned it's going to be dry for a couple of days, but it's going to pick up again according to the forecast. Well, my, only, my my main concern is we lift it now. We probably we're not going to review it again till next Monday. Uh, if we have another one of these wind things come through, we, we have and like you said, one of those brush those brush piles burn more than one day. <laughs> they do. We, we have in the past, and Tina's helped us do this. We've done a conference call with all the commissioners um, because we have a, a disaster declaration um, several years ago. We did that. Um, I, I can't remember. I can't oh, I, I, I realize we can do it by conference call. But. So actually, at the moment, though, we're not critical that no, can't no, burn. No, no, 
So just as easily as we can take it off, we can put it on and back and forth. Yeah, according to the water and task, we're not. So for those people who feel as though we are justly put it on and we're not critical right now, what Jonah was saying, take it off and we can put it back on if we need to at any time. But you're saying it's, is it a consensus of the fire chiefs to take it off? That's what I've been told. Um, I wasn't at their meeting and I had, or, or did they just make phone calls to each other? I've just been told that's their feeling. I'm, I'm all right with a snap back. Do you know about any of the surrounding counties? Um, a lot of our surrounding counties have um, burn permits where you have to actually go through a process of burn. We just don't have one of those. We just call in and say we're going to burn and it's either approved or disapproved according to the resolution. And that's how we do it. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, many of the counties around us, I think all of them except for Chase County, um, you actually got to go in and purchase a burn permit. And there are certain times you can't, you can't burn. Mm -hmm. But we don't do that. Of course, they still have to call in, you know. Right, and the sheriff's, they're, the sheriff's office and dispatch, they're supposed to be checking that, that uh, fire, fire danger right. index, you know, when they call. So if it's very high or above that, If they call they, in. That's, 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 right. Because, you know, I don't know how fast the, the resolution got to the sheriff last week, but I know last Monday afternoon there was a huge one up by the reservoir. It was, it was Monday afternoon when we got it. Huh? And it was a windy day. It was in Miami. Mm -hmm. I'll <laughs> Sorry, well, Randy. Let's not, let's not dwell on it. Let's go ahead and... Currently in a moderate. That's what we're currently in. And then there's only one, one level below that. It's, it's a good one. Yeah. I mean, I don't so think the commission to wants to go against I the fire chiefs if they think that it's. So if you go to, if you so want to, if you want to look at that yourself, if you go to mm -hmm. the National Weather Service website, it, it, there's a it right on there. It shows the Kansas Crescent yeah. Fire Danger. In, yeah, in and we're we're in a moderate. Are they supposed to go to low in a few days? I'd ask that you keep a good, close eye on it and let us know when you think something needs to change. Since by resolution you may do that. So since you have taken action to enact it, you need to, the commission needs to take some action. Whether or if they take no action, it stays on. Right. Or you'd have to take an official action to. Okay. Lift it. What's your wishes? You in favor of taking it off? Sure. Knowing that we have Randy, they can act quickly and get us no. back on. Can you make that into a motion? I don't know need to. I'll, I'll uh, make a motion that we lift the, the burn ban until the time that uh, okay. Randy well, motion. Applies. Second. Moved and seconded. By Diane, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. I have the minutes of November twenty fifth and the minutes of November twenty seventh. Okay, you had a chance to review those minutes. If so, I'll make a motion to approve the November 25th minutes as written. Second. So before we do that, I do want to ask for a correction, please. Okay, go ahead. So on the, for, on the, it's the second page, I'm sorry. Uh, down where we're talking about the action items related to expedition win. It does talk about the letter that I had brought up about the language in, uh, that involved the county commission in an inappropriate letter in my opinion so the, the minutes correctly reflected however it did not ex it did not extend that the board's consensus was to actually send a letter and I think that 
that should be in. Because it simply says that he could draft and send a letter to recipients of the offer indicating the county is not involved. I think it should say that he was instructed by the commission. Because I think, isn't that was our, we said we need to have a letter sent, if I'm not mistaken, correctly. Okay. Or was he going to draft it and bring it back? To he, he is going to draft it and bring it back, it yes. back for action. So I just think that should be in there, that a letter would be drafted, reviewed and sent, or however you want to say it, but rather just let it draw. I just thought it was going to complete. Okay. Is that consensus? Okay. I'll withdraw my motion, then and we'll approve after the correction today. Okay, we got to November 27th. Discussion on those minutes. None? No. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Move. Seconded by Dave. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Aye. change orders. Um, this is for the tax roll that just went out in prior years. Okay. What I'll do is start signing them and just sending them down because there are quite a few of them here. These are these are changes that are on the tax roll for new commission members. There's a summary in your packet, which was on page 10, that shows the actual overall dollar change, uh, but it does not list out each individual piece of paper. So. Maybe Diane can just hold on to those rather than send them around. Sure. sure. Is it okay if I go work on the corrections of the minutes? Yes, we'll go ahead. Was... We'll work on this.
Your signature is still your signature. <laughs> yeah. Now, you put an X. That's legal. What the good Lord bless me with. Yeah, you, can, you can't put an X as long as you got a witness. Well, now it looks like feet. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to make times again. Yeah. Go from a foot to a feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's funny. I'm not used to writing this much. Yeah, that's it. I guess it's a little bit. Yeah, I'm surrounded by the beds. I'm surrounded by the beds. What? See, I told her I was not to go over. 
Hey, I found the bottle. <laughs> Starting to get a blister on my thumb. <laughs> Hmm. I feel so bad for Lou. Okay, so yeah, the rest of the Lou Lurch, we always used to load on checks, let him sign them all, and we'd leave. Mm -hmm. yeah. Isn't there a classic, classic dog song about getting a, getting a blister on your thumb or something like that? Is it? Um, Okay, I have the correction to the minutes there for you to review. Okay, that suffice? Yeah, oh yes, I'm so sorry. Yes, I'll go ahead and make a motion if I could for the minutes as written. Okay, we have a motion to approve. So that would be as amended, right? As amended. <laughs> That's okay. Motion to approve the November 25th meeting. Minutes uh, seconded by Joe. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. The only other thing that I have for administrative was just a discussion. We're getting ready to do to prepare the calendar for next year. And so just a couple of questions just to make, to see the board's preference as far as meetings. So um, what we have done this year was on payday, we all have only done payday, which means that sometimes, like for instance, in December, also I need to check and see if we want a meeting on the 30th and then we meet again on the 31st. In the past, if we had a meeting that week within a couple days, we would do business on payday was payday and other business on the last working day. So I guess I just want to know the board's preference on how to schedule those going forward. If you want to keep on with the same custom that we did this year of doing um, a meeting on Monday, even if we have payday on a Tuesday or Wednesday, and or if you want to um, change back to the old way on that. And then also, um, so you're saying the payday would be on, on the 30th then? The payday's on the 31st, but we that's a Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And so we'll be meeting in December, unless you decide not to, we'll be meeting on the 30th and the 31st. Is there a lot of stuff to do here? Yeah. Not typically. I mean, it, it just depends on what's going on. So so. You can't have payday on the 30th. Hey. No, okay. um, we used to switch paydays around, but that's not a, a, that's not a best practice. You need to have a set day that that is your payday. I was going to say, if it could be done that way, then if you went over time, you could always show up on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. You'd always have, but if it has to be the other way, then... Yeah, payday needs to be set at the last working day of the month. So. Okay. Any preference? I mean, we could take, this month, we could probably take care of payday on the 30th, if that, if that would suffice, but I'd like to continue to see payday done at the end of the month. Like well, I think <laughs> that what, I, what you would probably do is either just don't meet on Monday and only meet on Tuesday on the payday. Okay, we, we, yeah, we could do it that way because we do have an employee dinner at noon on the 31st. Right. Anyway, for specifically for December, I'd like to know if you want to have a meeting on the 30th. And then just moving forward as we prepare the calendar for next year, what is your preference? How do you want that done? And then um, we still have a 15 minute time slots, um, quarterly updates from departments, even if they don't really have any business, is that sufficient? Except for Road and Bridge, and then you had asked the treasurer to be on every month. So, and Road and Bridge is on almost every week, so. Special. I mean, is it feel special? I don't know. I think it's worked okay the way we've been doing it. Why do we have the treasurer on every month? You all had requested that. Oh, we all did. Mm -hmm. Yes, the mm -hmm. board requested her to be on every single right. month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, money is important. <laughs> well, we've used, you know, practice has been a monthly update from the department heads. 
yeah, a lot of them come quarterly because if they don't have a lot to report, another option is to have a meeting a month where everybody, where they all come in and you all can just have a meeting with them. Why would we want to single her out and have her come in every month? Other than well, some departments come in more often. For instance, no, I understand, but specifically, we're saying she has to come in every month. I'm wondering why. What would well, the reason be? All, all the all the finances flow through that office. You know, and, you know, I realize some months she doesn't have much to say, but it's it's kind of nice to to you know just get a little little up. I feel like anyway, it's, it's nice to get an update from the treasurer's office. I was just wondering because since she is an elected official, and I mean she's got 20 years under her belt of experience, I'm just wondering, are we questioning her work or what? If she sees a need to bring something, would she not do that like any other Well, I think we requested that because, you know, for, for sale, and especially when you're looking at, at, the, at the county's investments, we went through three or four years of nothing but flat rates. But now we, the, the rate environment has changed some, and so there's continually bids going out for county money. And I, I I believe that that's being done now, but uh, it makes a big difference in the interest income for the county, and we've seen that just in the last year, year and a half, the difference in interest income that the county has received by getting, making sure we got competitive bids rather than just letting those basically CDs roll. One question: Does this have to? Does this have to change now or could it change to say in May? Like, no, just it's just that um, I'm just asking these questions because we pre write everything on the calendar, uh -huh. the, be the beginnings of the calendar now for the whole year, and it doesn't mean it can't change. I'm just asking so, preferences so that we don't go on and write a whole bunch of things on the calendar and then personal. you all change your mind and yes. we're gonna have to start all over. Yes, so. what I'm getting at is my preference would probably be to keep it status quo just until get a feel for it mm -hmm. and if it seems unnecessary at that point well I think it's like Jonah said it's in the best interest of the new commissioners to get those regular updates but it's, it's my opinion only okay so what I'm hearing from the board is just to leave everything the way it is right now is that good we recommend that we do that okay 30th and 31st meeting together this for this year. month rather than switch things up, just keep it. Okay, so no meeting on the 30th? Is that what you're saying? Do you want to have, have a full meeting schedule agenda then for the 31st? In the morning only, right. Okay, is that? That's fine. Uh, yes, that's okay. fine. Okay. Okay, no meeting on the 30th. <laughs> is, there kind of, is there any kind of special <laughs> notices special. that need to be sent? So, you know, the press knows. We, course, we, we send the out the agenda and, and everything. So, okay. Yeah. And uh, Tom Breton gets a special call if we make a change, but he's here. Okay. I was not paying attention. That's so. okay. I'll, I'll make sure he, and if he hears. <laughs> okay. That was it for administration. Mr. Breton, you, you, did you hear that we're not having a meeting on Monday the 30th? Okay. I've been notified. Thank you. <laughs> You're on notice. That's very official. There we go. <laughs> That's all I have. Okay, Bryce, go ahead. So, oh, all right. Uh, I was such a long holiday. Um, been looking at equipment and stuff like that on Purple Way. No, I was later this year, but for next year. Um, there are some concrete blocks that are coming up um, for sale. They're basically left over concrete from Dover's Concrete, stuff like that, both out of Hillsboro and Newton. We're going to be needing some of those on, on our one repair up there for the flood work. Um, hopefully, be done this year, but we're going to get our uh, the NRCS and everything else in that. So, I didn't know if the, if the commission was uh, open to trying to get some ahead of time. Right now, they're around about, they, according to the bid, they're about $15 a piece, but they sell them retail for about $40. So we could save a little bit of money. It's not huge, you know, if you're interested. I mean, and I don't know for sure how many we're going to need, but um, I think they were in lots of 30 apiece or something like that effect. Um, so we could try to buy some ahead of time and save a little bit of money, but not a lot. So didn't know what you guys thought about that. So. Okay. 
expeditious use of funds for that? Well, that's what I thought. I mean, like I said, if we can get them 15 or 20 piece compared to 40, and you know, we're going to have to go get them regardless. So, uh, if you're okay trying to get some of them, I'm okay with it. Commission, yeah, yeah, something that you can use all year long. Well, yeah, I mean, you can, yeah, you can <laughs> use them, you can store yeah. those forever. Yeah, yeah, so, okay. so I get consensus that it's okay. Yes, yes. I saw everyone shake their heads. Okay. You don't, that doesn't go in the notes like that? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, something else we've talked about is uh, it doesn't happen real often, but there are times when we've got the skid steer and the front end loaders and stuff like that out, and we have stuff delivered to the shop or also with commodities that we unload. Um, we, are, we would like to look at the possibility of getting a used forklift to keep at the shop to run down there so we would have um, obviously not spent anything of the exorbitant money to see, use five six thousand pound capacity to unload trucks stuff like that um, they've got some on purple wave that are that uh, are fairly close uh, tom was actually going to go look at them just just to make sure uh, some of them were in independence uh there's one of winfield tonganoxy stuff to that effect so um Kind of got that, you know, uh, to see if you guys would be interested in, in, in us getting one of those. Propane. Get one of these. Most of them are propane, yeah. simply because of. Just, I got a really good deal on an electric one with the battery shot. The yeah. battery's worth more than the forklift. Yep. So. Yeah. And of course, ours uh, will have to get something with a, a little bit bigger front tire. Um, you know, a lot of your smooth forklifts like concrete and everything else so uh, they don't work on gravel exactly yeah it's but, tuck. yeah um so that's the other thing we could actually go out and get a more of an all-terrain but we're, we're talking 10 15 thousand dollars for those and we don't want to spend that kind of money for that we're just looking um i don't know what they're going to go for i, I would hope in the five to eight thousand dollar range but if they go more than that i think we could say no we're not going to spend that kind of money so is this something you'd have to use in more than one location well when we take when we come down to our little commodities also um we we, we yeah. have to wear at the department the, the, the senior center department on aging yeah once a, I mean, it's all, once a month they come in once a quarter two months. Months, every two months yeah, we go down and we unload it for them so but like i said it just uh, it's, it doesn't happen a lot but there is times where he's had to go scramble to try to find something or bring the skid steer back whatever else we got trucks waiting or whatever so two three four push down town everybody shares well right um and, and that's an option but it's something that we have to basically have to have approved or whatever else and then and then you still got to worry about getting down here too so but um as long as you have the budget well no. like i said i don't want to spend a, a lot of money you know I, I like to try to find some of the five six thousand maybe eight thousand at most range i checked into all the refurbished ones they're all painted and everything else 15 to twenty thousand. that it's not worth that as far as i'm Plus, we can use it around the shop, inside the shop, too. Um, it's actually a version a little bit better than the skid steer inside the shop, too. So, Commissioner, what do you think? Need a consensus on it? We need to make sure you don't, that you got outdoor tires on the front. Well, yeah, and like I said, we, we could go with it. I think the ones we're looking at will suffice because we're, for the most part, hard surfaced, just not concrete. You know, we'll be able to get, get around on some solid rock and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it's all like I said, the smooth tire ones, we just we can't do those whatsoever. So, but. how much money are you estimating? Well, I guess I, I'm hoping like no more than eight thousand dollars. That's you know, and you look at you know what they're they they uh, the bid ends on Wednesday, some of them are still down in a thousand dollar range, some of them are up in the two three thousand dollar range, but you never know what happens between now and then. Well, what's happened to the last half hour yeah. yeah i was gonna say the last 30 minutes is when it falls. yeah and, and a lot of times you don't even see that you put in which you know which you want to go to the max and, it, and then uh, it just shows up like the, the flail motor showed up uh, like an hour and a half later that uh, that was the final bit so but if you, if you don't want to we'll as long we'll as you feel like that's an effective use of your budget i i think it will be there's a lot of things we can move around with it so be okay with it, Commission? Do we need to, do we need to act on that? I think put, that would be great. Let's, <laughs> put a, let's act on that and put a dollar amount. I'll make a motion to approve the uh, 
purchase of a forklift in an amount of no more than eight thousand dollars. Second that. Moved and seconded by John Paul Favor. Aye. Aye. Okay. I'll let you know how it comes out. Uh, received a draft copy from Kirk of Michael for the post construction uh, review of the all roads with Anna Vista. Uh, I just got it Wednesday. Uh, I just preliminary looked at it based on what he came up with the original. Um, when he first came back with me on price and everything else, it's a little bit less than five hundred thousand dollars based on his recommendations. I really haven't gone through everything line by line, but that was for roadway structures and other things that needed to be that weren't addressed as part of the original stuff. So it's a rough idea. So hopefully by next week I can. And did it, and okay, so I want to go back then also to the rock that we were being offered for twelve hundred tons of rock. Okay. Okay. You know that rock that we're being offered is to be claimed rock. It's not that good rock up there. There's two piles up there in the mm -hmm. yard. One is nice rock. Mm -hmm. One is reclaimed powder. Okay. With a few rocks in it. The the one I was told that it was going to be the SS5. It was better material. That goes to Mr. Bragg's office. Okay. And well, he's already starting to move it away. So no, that's not the right pile. Okay. We get the junk. Well, I. That's not what I was told or whatever else or. And their, their letter doesn't specify. Right. I just happen to know that that's what's happening. Yeah, I, I was just going by that, so. Mm -hmm. And as, you know, they can give, it says SS, right there on the, on the mm -hmm. thing right there, so I don't know. I don't know he's, he's well, and I, yes. maybe I'll get it from someplace else. I, I don't know. Or they'll give us a credit somewhere or what, I don't, I mean, I don't know. That's, I, that's going to have to be part of that negotiation with, that they submitted to Brad, and obviously with this information here too, so. So anyway, I'm going to go, go through and look at that a little more detail and answer it. Um, the K Camp has sent out a letter that they're, they have that two thousand dollars for risk. Uh, was it risk risk assessment? Risk assessment money. Um, I don't know if any other department uh, is interested in that. We got it last year, but uh, we can always find places to spend that if no one else wants to. So that's usually something we discuss at the department head meeting. Right. Right. So. Um, just we have that there so so do you have to document how you spend that if you get it yeah. if it's just for risk assessment you can't yeah. just well they give you they give you some uh, some things that we've used in the past last year they we got some parts with it and stuff like that for trucks so I mean it's definitely uh, you know, sure give you some money so anyway so I don't know what's left of that but anyway um, I'm also uh, scheduled for the city of Florence uh, commission meeting tonight to discuss that road one south of there so we'll try to work on all those resolutions. So. And so when I had emailed you on that or texted you on that one right there, and I told you what her, have you, have you talked to her at all? I have not. I was going by what, what uh, Randy had told me, and basically it's all the same information as to they've been annexed, but I don't be like, oh, see, everybody else, nobody really knows for sure. Well, what she but, said was in 69, and Randy would probably remember this, she said you were just wait. 69? Yeah, 69 good year. So anyway, that's when they were annexed into the city. They, they specifically okay. requested to be annexed and solely for fire and emergency services from Florence um, to their house. I don't know, but that's what she said. And so what they, and during the annex, I think it's the south side of the road is in the Florence city limits and the north side is in the county. And she's saying that the county has always maintained that road, except for now lately they have not been. But for years and years they've always maintained it. And um, well, so, it's been being underwater or I would imagine that she would know. You know, I don't doubt what she said right, at all. Right. But the the city also owns ground where their lagoons are now. Mm -hmm. I don't know what year those were put in. And that's on the north side. Of the that are they annexed for their own property too? The north side, she said, was annexed. The south side of the road, from the middle of the road, and I, and I think she said something about the middle of the road at one point. The middle of the road is a divider. <coughs> the north side was annexed, right. and the south side. But was between gone. the bridge and the, and the railroad tracks, there's the good yeah. property. Yeah, what I was asking is that's annexed. I don't know whether that's. She annexed said it either. was from the railroad tracks. Yes, but on this on the north side. Well, they live on the south side, though. Right. So, so half the road's there. But yet the north side is annexed into Florence, and yet it's not Florence's. Yeah, I, 
I don't, honestly, I don't know. You're going to a council meeting, right? Yep. Yeah. Maybe you'll get some clarity. Well, they, like I said, they were going to look into any information they have too, but you know, based on the information I found, I don't know if it was ever specifically. But we're going to go in there and talk about getting it done and fixed up and taken care of. So just want to let you know I was going to the meeting. So, um, so um, I just had one other thing, but did you guys have anything else for me? Well, I would just like to, to say something here. Um, when I took this position as county engineer, I knew most of the adversity that I would face. I didn't know I'd have to face an article in the paper about my personal life based on a reported Facebook algorithm. I would like to apologize that my personal life is of concern to some other than my friends and family. I would like to apologize to the commissioners as well as the rest of the county for this and reassure the, the commission that my personal life will play no part in the position as county engineer, whether it is my integrity, ethics, reputation, or financial operation operation as overseen by the commission. So just wanted to tell you that. that if, um, we appreciate that. Anybody, do you have any concerns, whatever else, about my personal life? I should talk to you about it confidentially. But, we pretty much know what tabloids are. Right? Well, I'm just, just saying, you know, that um, I... Just keep doing your job. Yeah. Okay. All right. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, Rose. Okay, Isaac. So last Monday when I was in here, I gave you guys the bids that we received, um, and and I know that there were some some changes to, to try to make these more comparable. Um, I was able to get with all three contractors last week with the short brief week with Thanksgiving, um, and and they all got me the information I think we were looking for. Um, so starting with the, I'll just start with the first one and. and kind of explain what was discussed and what changes have been made. Um, so with Home Resorts there, uh, he has a one-year structural warranty. That is what he builds. He has a one-year warranty on that. Um, that was the gentleman that was looking at doing the polydoc system. Um, those polydocs, he said, have their own warranty, which is a limited lifetime warranty. That is just for the dock structure as far as the building goes and all of that. That is not included in that. That is just the dock. Um, and I know I mentioned about the concern with the polydoc system. I asked him about that, if he's 100% confident in the structure on it. And he said there's a system, because he, being a polydoc dealer, he said there's a system in play there. So he comes up with the structure, which is based off our original doc, and he actually sends that to a polydoc engineer. That engineer takes what he gives him and gives him the okay or tells him it's not possible. Um, and he said he has not done that yet because that engineer actually comes to send that information in the engineer is a fee that comes out of his pocket. He said once he gets the bid, he will submit that in. Um, he has not done that, but that is how that works. So he said he will not just go in and do it and hope for the best. He said there's an engineer that is in charge of the structural part of doing that. Um, but his he had the he already had the demo included. It was the was the ten thousand dollars if we wanted to do that. Um, he said without the demo, just subtract the ten thousand dollars if if that was something that the county did wanted to do themselves. Um, but that's that's where his bid came out, right at about 177,000 with the demo included. Um, are there any questions on that one? Well, I guess my only question would be, is if we accepted his bid, and then the engineer says, yes, that won't work. So I talked to him about that, and he said if that is the case, 
there is another doc company that they work with who would do the work come up with the game plan and the structure and he said his bid will remain the same for the county regardless um, he said that will not change the price if there is a change in price he covers that he said his bid will stay the same whether polydoc engineer um, likes the design or does not um, max docks the next one he was the gentleman that originally excluded um, electrical and heat and um, insulation that with all three of those included it was going to be one hundred eighty thousand nine hundred um, his removal cost was significantly higher than the other two um, it came in at twenty five thousand he said the reason for that is he they are out of Missouri and just the travel and all of that um, brings that in he said he doesn't really have equipment that he would like to bring down here to do that but he said he if, if the county wishes him to do it he can do it um, but it's just it's just a further distance for him to travel since since he isn't from the area um, which is I think the main reason that that removal cost was significantly higher um, so with with those three things included I mean it brought us bid up I mean pretty much exactly what John was saying the other day about twenty five thousand dollars for the insulation electricity and heating um, and then the last one Ben's boat docks his his everything else was included in there we just asked for the removal removal fee his was at 12.5 um, which he said he has no problem doing it if the county wants him to do that and I think after those three that I mean it kind of helps compare apples to apples more than more than what we had last week um, so his 12.5 you said for demolition that is that in, that's not included in this so in his 12.1 on the sheet here yeah 12.1 sorry not 12.5 that's that's okay. his total, okay. total, okay. yeah so his total there would be 203 900 and i think before that it was it was right at 191. Um, limited lifetime yes. I don't know what that means see and I asked him that and he said he was going to try to get me more details on that because that's why I had a question too I mean I've heard of a I mean, lifetime like out. <laughs> yeah I didn't know what limited meant um, and he said he was going to try to get me more information on that I wasn't able to get a hold of Chuck actually until this morning um, he said he was gone all week for Thanksgiving stuff last week um, but he said there it, it's a limited lifetime but I don't know what the limit the limited part of that is okay. um, okay. in most things if you buy it's a catch yeah <laughs> <laughs> the butt yeah. yeah did you get any clarification what an encapsulated float looks like yes um, well there might be a picture of on here might add for clarification home resort is out of Tescott Kansas I have all kinds of people want to know what home resort in Hillsborough was <laughs> Typo. a lot of people probably ask for testing yeah too. I know where this isn't the best picture but it's pretty much what it is is it's it's that old really what it is is that styrofoam float that they used to allow it's that but it's surrounded in a black polyplastic and and that's really all it is um, it's just it's still styrofoam but none of that styrofoam is is protruding and there's no way for water to get into it unless that that black plastic on the outside cracks um, but that's that's pretty much what that is and they come in those floats come in all different sizes I was looking just for for personal information on on them and I mean you can get them in anywhere from about a 2 by 2 to a 10 by 12 um, but but that's all it is it looks like it's just like a, a spray styrofoam inside those plastic plastic floats to go from key charges here yes this is 
full structural 25 year 25 year warranty on his um, Ben's was 25 this max stocks he had 15 year warranty um, and then home resorts he had a personal one year but then the that that dog was that limited by five okay. <laughs> Just local meaning you know, guys teach us which terms. Right. Does that mean anything? The only thing with this, those encapsulated, you kind of know what you got from the get go. And that's the the encapsulated floats. That's pretty much what I would say. Eighty five percent of of all the new docks have. It's really going to be those encapsulated floats or it's going to be that easy dock structure like what we have down there. Uh, that's Those are pretty much the only two things that we have on the lake now. I think there are still maybe a handful of docks that have the old styrofoam, um, but pretty much all of those have been removed or, or switched out with that um, the encapsulated float system. I mean, yeah, even though it's, it's, not, the, it's not the low bid, if we took the demolition out of there, it would make a lot of difference. Just a quick question for the board. Um, do you need Brad to come? He, he is finished with his other obligation. He can come if we need him, but I didn't know. Commission? He was gonna bring Price. some information for us, wasn't he? Maybe. I don't, I don't know if he, ha if he has any information. So he's going to bring the letter that he was going to make up. Okay. Um, I don't know if he has that. I can ask you might him. check with him okay. on that. I'm just send a copy. I get right to it. Which one do you see? Which one do I prefer? Yeah. I will say after talking with, with Chuck and the idea of an engineer going over his plan did make me feel a little bit better about that. I'm, I'm still, if I'm being honest, I like the idea of a steel structure and the floats kind of like what is in place there just because we've seen it work. Um, most every dock I've seen that has some kind of building structure is built like that. Um, I personally have never seen a poly dock system with a building on it and just, I mean, I'm not saying it, it's not, it's not going to work because he knows more about it than I do. Um, I just haven't ever seen it. Um, I do like the idea of there actually being a steel structure and, and a flooring and everything like that, opposed to that idea, but um, that's just my personal opinion. And, and like I said, I, he, there might be some awesome way to get that put together. I just haven't ever seen it done. Um, so you're saying max dogs? Yes, and, and yeah, max, max, max comes in cheaper than Jim. Either of those two, um, Looking at their their work looks very close to the same same quality. The one you feel comfortable sticking your neck out. Yes, I would. That's what I want to hear. Which one do you want to be Well, look into the club. I think you know what I'm um, And I believe last time I was in here, I forgot to mention this. Um, you guys asked about a completion time period. I talked to. Uh, K camp and there is a two year um, completion time period. He said if it's not going to be completed in two years, that's not a problem, but we just have to call and ask for an extension. Um, I believe last time when that was asked, I wasn't sure, but it's it's two years to, to complete it from when we start. Um, and he said if it's not done in two years, then there's probably a problem or we can ask for an extension. Why wouldn't it be done within two years? It, sh it should be, be. yeah, it yeah. definitely should be without a problem. As long as, you know, everybody can get started now and, and talking to the three contractors, they all said as soon as as soon as we make up our mind, all three of them could start right away. The biggest problem will be the impatience of the people yes, yes, late. Yes, yes, exactly. Two years, they probably don't want to hear that. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, which we've already been dealing with now. <laughs> Between the last two, you've got a 15 year and then that. Benz is a 25. 25 years, yes, sir. And the brochure was Benz? The brochure was Benz, yes. Um, Mac, he said he doesn't have any kind of booklet like this. He does have a website that has all of his 
pictures and everything on it. Um, a lot of his previous work is on there. If that's something the commission would would be interested in looking at, um, from what like from what I've seen, uh, bins and Max are are very close. This Max docks them being from Missouri, they do a lot of work on those lakes. He's built. I mean, and it's all on his website, but he does like the double decker docks, the triple decker docks. He's done all kinds of building docks of buildings on them, um, which are all online, which I've seen. Um, and so that's kind of where looking at those two, being able to see that gives me a little bit more confidence than the first bid, which I don't know. I don't want to say it's. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just concerned about giving a bid out, and then you know, you know, we're just wasting time then, because who knows how long it's going to take to get the engineers' right, uh, right. conclusion on it, write up on it, whatever it is, right. when we can, we can know what we're getting and get started quicker. So throwing everything out. Uh, take care of the demo ourselves, Max is cheaper. And if we keep the demo in, Benz is cheaper. Correct. Yeah, that, that is correct. You ready to take action on it? Well, let's get to know which direction are we gonna to try to take care of our demo ourselves? Well, you know, when you're looking at 10 to 25,000, We've been told by Road and Bridge they think they, they could tear it apart. The, that comes down to how much is tore apart. The, pro, the problem is if there's any steel structure, they won't even really take recycled steel anymore. I mean, it's like between 10 and $20 a ton. So we're gonna spend more money hauling off unless we just haul it down to the south shop and just store it there until prices come up. Getting rid of the rest of the materials, you know, it's gonna be the, the issue there, so. I mean, I don't think it would take much if we got rid of it through the transfer station, but that's up to you guys. One good thing about it is that uh, if someone else does it, they take care of all those other you know, different things, electrical and everything else that are in there. And so whether we go ahead and do that, it all depends on how, how you want to demo it too. So it is kind of nice having it as a one lump sinks and total start to finish, here you go. And so. You know, I agree with what uh, Bryce is saying. You know, sometimes that is important right there. And we have extremely been blessed with this dock situation from start to finish to get the new dock. So for the county to put in the money to pay for the demo, if that's what we got to do for the, for the lake and to restore this, I'm okay with it. I think yeah. that's a steal of a deal for us to do it, clean it up, and be done with it. Yeah. And I'll just say that that's you know, whatever it takes a couple days to a week. That's a week we're <laughs> well, up there. Is, <laughs> is there a possibility of getting a metal scrapper in and just saying, here's the metal, cut it up, and take it? I, I doubt it with the price of steel being right now. Like I said, we're not even taking our steel in because it's so, it's so cheap. You know, we're just putting it out the south yeah. shop. So. It could be. Well, you didn't get all of it. So now you threw a wrench in their plan to build and and it's finger pointing match. Yeah. I, I don't know. You ready to move on it? If it's consensus that we we include the demo in it, then I would, I would make a motion to go with Ben's Hope Doc. To keep the demolition in it? I thought we'd let the road bridge down. Is that a better deal? No, that's yeah. what we just talked about. Oh. That's what I just said. It would be better off if we just included the demolition because of the, the deal that we're getting with the insurance on replacing the dock as it is. I mean, we can make it complicated if you'd like, but I'd say just go ahead and. That's what I was saying just a minute ago. If we're going to. But, I mean, if we're going to do that, would we better be better off going with Max and paying? Because we're still spending, spending less money. Mm, no, Ben's is 203, Max is 205. No, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Close, yeah 204 versus 206. <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah. So, out of our budget, we're going to have to come up with 30000 
Is that is that going to crimp Park and Lake? <laughs> he has money in his budget. I mean, well, we I mean, have I been setting money, money aside for, there, but, you for know, utility Looking down the road, is that going to crimp you in another way? I'm, we're asking you that. <laughs> well, I right, I was going to say, right now, I'm not sure without looking at it. Well, and um, we're getting 180, 188. 177. 177. So, what, about 30,000? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven thousand. I think you've got that in your budget. If I looked at it right, I think you're okay. Yeah. It might be a little this year, a little next year. Who knows? Right? Well, yeah. So, you know, because you know, if you're going to have a bunch of, you know, I know you need to do a lot of tree trimming and stuff, and probably have to bid that out. I I would second the motion that's on the floor. For Ben's boat. Uh, for ben, Ben's boat. No. For Ben's boat. Okay, we've got a motion by Jonah, seconded by Randy, to accept the bid from uh, Ben's Boat Dock in the amount of 203900 Any further discussion? Not all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. You that leave you out of the picture. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, I've got enough to keep it busy. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. so, thank you for the offer. Thank you for well, just uh, trying to help out. I mean, thanks for being a team player. Yeah, you know, we have the we have the equipment, but we just don't have time, time. time and resources. So. Okay. Okay. Anything else, Isaac? I'll bring this up. This is just a question for me personally. Um, here about a week ago. On the southeast side of the lake, Mick Somerville owns that farm area, and he was having some issues with little calves getting out. Um, and he came to me and said that that was Lake's responsibility to take care of that fence. And if the cows were getting out underneath the fence, that is the lake's responsibility. Um, I did the fence up, on the south side of the road. Yes, correct. Yes, on his correct. land. See, and that's that. I wasn't sure, and I, I had never the heard right of right half it. is whoever's on mm -hmm. It's something yeah. looking at it's the right half is your responsibility. Yeah, Tim, Tim it's something, something to do with way back when the lake was started, yes, and the property sold or whatever. I have documentation on that from my last training over in Junction City. I didn't bring it with me, but I got all the laws and regulations pamphlets, and I'll be happy to bring that to the commission. We had it, we had a training on it. And it's very detailed, but it is the law, and it's the way things work, and I don't know who's to the benefit here, but I think it's something the commission should at least review. It's fascinating. Let me, let me ask you, what, what are you trying to tell me, Diane? Are you saying that, that if there's a 1940 agreement that it can be broken? Is that what you're telling me, or not? No, that's not what I'm telling you okay. anything. I'm just telling no, you that there are actual laws there, on the book. Is there that, an old easement or anything position. of record? Well, and that, that, I guess, pretty much what happened is they were getting out, and he, he called and asked if we were going to fix it, which I was unaware of anything no. of the sort. Well, I ended up actually talking to Gerald, who's worked out there, and he said that Steve dealt with it, I think, at one point. Well, we've replaced all that fence. Yeah, there, well, and that's what they I mean, said. put it up that probably the, six, eight years ago. The county paid for it, I think, the fence yes. to go up. And so that was the question. We ended up, we ended up dumping gravel there and, and filling the hole. Was, so we ended up taking care of it. Okay. But because we had a lot of extra, um, and it was just big stuff from, from I mean, it was old. Right. Um, but I guess for future reference, I, I wasn't sure how that actually was worded out or where our responsibility ends and this begins. There is documentation um, somewhere. There That's is. the reason okay. why we rebuilt the fence and, and put it in. This is on Somerville's land? Yes. We paid for his fence? Yes, and the dude back behind the dam, yes. up along the southeast yes. side, and we only went, we go to the end of that first field somewhere up there to where we go. Uh, I guess well, the right. fence is only six or seven years old. That's my concern. Is it a, is a problem with the fence? No, no. It, well, it really is not a fence issue. I think the issue is is just rain runoff. And what it had done is he's got a little draw there, and where it runs down off the road into that draw, it's just eating away that that dirt. And so the little calves are able to get up underneath the fence right out of that draw, and they were up on the road. And I mean, it happened. They were out 
probably five or six days straight. And he would go over there and I'd call him and he'd run it back in, but they'd come right back out. So we ended up just dumping, a, I mean, it was like a combo of dirt mulch and, and big rock um, just in there. Is there a water from, gate in there? What they call a water gate in there? I don't know. Because you know, most, know. most pasture that have those kind of the flows through there like that, they put in what they call a water gate. Oh, okay, I don't think there is. It's 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 on the south side. I mean, it's maybe I would say maybe a hundred, two hundred yards from from the spillway. East, east, okay. yeah. And so we just went ahead and took care of it. But I just I didn't know what the actual line was as far as what was ours and what was his or what we are responsible for fixing. Um, because I did understand that that the county paid for. I believe that pull fence. Yes. Um, there must have been some type of agreement from way back yonder. There. Yes, yes, there is somewhere. I don't know where it's at, but it's. Would he maintain it and we paid for it? No, it says it's our responsibility. I mean, that's. that's well, I have his updated laws. Yep, so yep. anybody that wants it off the line, if you don't want it, I won't waste your time. But the railroad's uh, responsible for all the right of way uh, fencing along the railroad, and they they everything. Maintenance. The cow gets in there and the train hits it. The Santa Fe buys it or the railroad buys it. Well, then, does that sound right to you right now? That's a different issue. No, that well, is I know a different issue. But I'm saying on this issue, that if it says that it's the county's responsibility, I mean, to me, the fence is not the issue right here. So there's, well, all different, there's all different things involved in it, depending on which side of the fence. It depends whether it's between a road or not, or who's the right hand. property, right hand, left hand. I mean, there's all kinds of. Any Looking at the fence, you're responsible for the right to have. Yeah. 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 And I think, but I mean, that's just done. Um, that goes back to when the Indians are still alive. Yeah. <laughs> so, but if the fence is in good repair, so you're saying, you have you're have saying the out, issue right now is being yeah, corrected. Well, that's that's yes, it is. It, and it's, it's all fixed now. There's no issue now. But I guess just moving forward, I'll, just in case, you know, it happens again or it washes out again. Yeah. Well, if that washes out again, put in bigger rock. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I would ask our county clerk to research and show you, get some research so that you see what the original agreement is and okay. and so you know what where it starts, where okay. it stops, and things like that, Isaac. I mean, that, that would be my suggestion to start with. And okay. Thank you for taking care of the issue, and let's move on. Okay. Hey, thanks, Isaac. Yeah, thank you. Lloyd here? Yep. Morning, Lloyd. Morning, Lloyd. Hot seat, Lloyd. This is the hot seat? Yeah. And uh, what Lloyd has to discuss is pertains to cybersecurity and specifics to our network. And our, so that needs to be done in the executive session uh, for security purposes. How long do you think? Bring out, are you going to actually bring out real county security? Yes. Because I'm going to be on alert. Yes. How long do you think? 20 minutes. And so what does that pull? Okay, it falls under item number 13 for matters related to security meetings. Yes, that's right. 20 minutes. I don't have any questions to Okay. We can always go back in. Okay, I move for your session, the executive session, in order to discuss uh, uh, IT uh, security issues under item number 13 for matters of security measures pursuant to KSA-75-431-9B with the uh, commission, Lloyd, and Tina. Uh, I move that we move forward with commission item number 13. Second. Okay. Second. 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 Hi guys. Hi. How are you? How are you? Oh, you? must be in the witness. Make sure you don't wear up there. I just feel. Uh, okay, out of executive session, I'm going to go ahead and make a motion that we direct our IT, Lloyd Davies, uh, to work with any agencies deemed appropriate to 
for enhancement of cybersecurity with Marion County. Moved seconded by Randy. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I will. Thank you, Luke. Okay, Ricky. Am I up? Okay. You're up. Um, you want to go down here? Oh, is that what I need to do? Yep. Okay. Do you need to go? Oh, I am. Well, all right. <laughs> Fisher's should be warm. He was there for me. Yeah, <laughs> really. Well, okay. If that cabinet turns white when he's talking, we know he's fibbing. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was a mood detector. You know, it's a lie detector. Okay. <laughs> Uh, well, the first thing I want to do is introduce myself to Dave and to Jonah. Uh, my name is Ricky Roberts, and, and uh, I am the uh, extension agent over here and the director of, in, the, in the Marion County Extension Office. This is our family consumer science agent, Tristan Cope. So the first thing I want to do is just come over and introduce myself. And, and uh, uh, our department, um, you guys do fund our department, and, and uh, uh, we certainly appreciate that support. We, um, we're a joint venture between the county as well as, as the state, or in, in this case, Kansas State University. Um, we do, as the other commissioners will tell you, we do operate slightly different than the rest of the departments here. Um, and uh, we won't be here in front of you weekly or whatever. Um, we have a locally elected board that governs or overlooks our offices and that's who does our reviews and all those kinds of things that has to happen and, then, and, and uh, we meet with that elected board every month and, um, and so that's that's kind of how the, the quote if you want to call it the management or the overview of our office occurs that's how it happens so anyway but um, but we do appreciate the support Guys, why it came that I did want to, um, I, I guess then I'm going to ask for something. Uh, um, during um, the, the budget meetings uh, this summer, when we had the budget meetings, or last spring, when we had the budget meetings, and, and I want to say, you all can, may remember, Ken, um, really think it may have been even Scott Lloyd that was here. And he may have been the one that brought this up even, but it was discussed briefly about um, this concept of called an extension district forming and extension district. And certainly as we look at the landscape across Kansas and the Kansas Extension Service, um, absolutely that's the way everything is going, is forming districts. Um, and basically, the 30-second description of it says that really what you do is, is that two or more counties effectually combine their extension services together to make one operation, okay? There would still be offices in each county. There will always be an office in each county, but effectually you are combining your extension operations into two or more counties into one operation. The reason why I'm here is that I do believe that um, Marion County has a districting opportunity. We may have a district opportunity in front of us at this time. Um, that is something that uh, myself uh, and, and, and our board We've been very proactive in those discussions with our neighbors regarding this subject. Um, I think that it would be worth our time to go over in detail uh, that extension law, the districting extension law, what that would entail the process, if we would want to consider that out of here, what that process and what that would look like. The problem is, guys, I really can't do that in a 15-minute window in this official meeting. It's just, it's more detailed than that. What I, the reason why I came in is to ask 
maybe for the opportunity at some point to have a work session. And if we could have that work session, then uh, I could have time, I could go through all of the districting law with you to try and answer any questions you have. Um, and, you know, essentially, and I, 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 how do I say this? I mean, I am a proponent of extension districts, all right? I need to say that. I'm a proponent of extension districts. But I think you will find that um, I can go through that, the whatever, the advantages and disadvantages of the district, and then would be happy to go through that with you in somewhat of a neutral, uh, of, of, of a neutral position, okay? Um, and that's really why I came in. I, I, I don't know that you regularly have work session scheduled on a regular basis, but, um, but that's, I, I would like to do that. Um, you know, we've got holidays here, but in my opinion, I guess the sooner the better. And that um, it, it would be worth our time to have that discussion and then I can make it and then have those discussions with our members about whether or not we want to be involved in that or not involved in that. Does that, if that makes sense to anybody? Sure. Mm -hmm. um, is, and that's what I would like. But I will try to be respectful of your time. I, I understand that you're busy. I want to be respectful of your time. I just can't do it in a 15 minute window that we would have inside of this this particular time here. So you say this is this is kind of picking up steam going Kent, across the state. Yeah, it can't, can't. I mean, certainly, right now, if you and I'll when I come back with that, I'll show you the map of what, yeah. what's going on in the state. That's okay, um, but right now, I think I can say that I have not actually counted it all up, but it would be about half of the state now is. Uh, in Marion, in, in Kansas, there are 105 counties, okay? There's 105 counties. Every county has an extension office in it. There are 105 offices. Now, those offices don't all look the same, but there are 105 offices in the state, okay? About half of those counties are now in an extension district, Ken. Okay. Okay? So, I can say without question that it is, that, that's the trend that we're seeing. I think that there are. That's the color. Yeah. The purple one's shaded. And it's statewide. It is statewide. It's, it's absolutely everywhere. It's not confined to one part of the state. It's, it is everywhere. And that's why I can say with certainty, and this, it's not necessarily, Ken, a new phenomenon. These this didn't happen overnight. I'm sure it yeah, did. No. Three counties maybe. When you see as much of this state that is districted, I think you can appreciate that. That does not happen overnight. That takes it's a great deal of time. So this has been wrong really since the 90s. Okay? And so we have, in my opinion, enough time and track record to know some of the advantages and disadvantages of working in a district. And, um, and though I am a proponent of it, I'll explain to you later why I am, and although I am, um, you know, I, I think I can go through those, both the advantages and disadvantages of it. Um, and, and I think you would have, you'd have find that, that I can do that on somewhat of a, of a neutral basis. Um, so, so we, you know, yeah, we certainly could uh, do a work session. That's what I would appreciate. And so, um, so that's that's what it is. And however, you guys, I don't know how you schedule those. You all decide when that is, and you simply let me know, and I will make it fit my calendar. Well, do you have a kind of a time frame you'd like to get to do that? I next you thirty know, days, sixty days. Yeah, I would love to do it in the next thirty days if that can happen. Can't. I don't know if I'm being too unrealistic there, um, but if it could happen in the next 30 days, I would love for that to happen. Um, 
we have we have had these districting discussions with uh, for the last several years with both our neighbors to the north that would be Dixon County as well as our neighbors to the west in McPherson counties our neighbors to the east are already in the district okay um, our neighbors to the south it isn't going to happen so and I can go through more of that in detail till later all right as to why but, right 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 and that's why I said to our east Chase and Morris are already in a district okay Dickinson um, we've had conversations with both Dickinson and McPherson counties um, and where I'm at today specifically Kent um, today um, we've had fairly significant conversations with Dixon County they've had conversations with their commissioners um, and I think that it's to the point where they would like to know are we legitimately interested is it something that we want to consider or not and I, I believe that's where we're at Kent okay uh, does the commission want to look at a date this month how long an hour two hours an hour they I, I think if I don't know that it would take all of an hour but I would say I would need an hour anyway maybe if you could get if you could give me that what works best for commission the morning afternoon either one would you want to do it during your regular day? You're right. You could do that like in the afternoon. I was going to say, if we have, have, if a, we have a little shorter agenda, agenda, we could we could do that. That's fine. That'd be whatever you guys want to do. Yeah, I didn't. Why, well, if you're all here on Mondays, we could do it on a Monday afternoon or something. Yeah, or whatever. I mean, if we're only talking about an hour, that's what I think. I think roughly that would do it. Yeah. Uh, Fifteen. Can we leave it up to Tina then to, to check yes, that? You and if, yes, you may. Yes. If it appears there's going to be time, just put it in. Yep. Okay. All right. Yeah. Just give me whatever lead you can, Tina. That's all I would ask for. Just so yep. where I can make sure that I'm prepared. We can go Friday night. Huh? <laughs> Friday night. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, we could just put it on for the 16th. Okay. Awesome. And then put it on at like from. 10 to 11 or 11 to noon. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. We'll think about doing it on the 16th. You'll let me know specifically well, the I mean, time. Do you or something. want to just do that? Yeah, sounds good with me. Why don't we just go ahead and do that? Okay. I, I don't want to necessarily push it too far down in the day because if for some it reason you don't have other business, then you kind of have a big hole there. So do we want it? Do you have preference? You want it like at ten, or do you want me to just put it at eleven? Put it on the schedule, whatever comes up. You know, and we can I mean, do that. But yeah. we're all planning on the sixteenth. If we have not put it off on the sixteenth, and if we need okay. to shuffle it during the morning, so sure, you know, right, right, right. right. Sherry or somebody can let know what the time to shuffle okay. it around to. Yeah, we'll do it on the sixteenth, and okay. And yeah. if it takes yeah. an hour, then that's okay in that window, correct, guys? Okay. Sure. I put it on for an hour on the sixteenth. I've got it tentatively at eleven. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Guys, day. you too. Okay, the next item is uh, on the agenda is review employee evaluations. So, also, I just want to let you know that um, Brad is on his way. He does have some business for you, which will require an executive session. There may be some business in open session also, but he won't be here till a little after 11, maybe 10 after. So if you want to do that, some review of the evaluations, basically this is employee department, employee evaluations, department heads, conduct those and review them with the employees, but commission also reviews and signs yeah. off on those. We and that's well done started. in executive session. Yeah, we may need to go, we might as well go ahead and get started. Uh, uh, we say uh, 30 minutes. That would give Brad time. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll move recess in the executive session in order to discuss uh, 
employee evaluations uh, under item number one matters personnel matters of non elected personnel pursuant to KSA says that's 431 9b with the commission until uh, you let let's say 11 15 and we resume the open session second seconded by Joan all in favor Aye. You go get the door. He's got a request for a five-minute recess. <laughs> okay, out of executive session, no action taken. And at this time, I'm going to uh, turn it over to Brad. Um, I don't know if there's any necessity to have to do this, but I in here. I had prepared a short letter, personal to your request, for um, all of the stakeholders that received. Correspondence recently from Expedition Land in a letter dated the 18th of November. Okay. Uh, I want to see if this covers it. I can go into significantly greater detail, but I'm just trying to get the point across uh, based okay. upon our discussion that we had no involvement, only no knowledge. Do you want to go over that quickly? For yeah, the and just to let everybody take a quick look at it, it's as short as it is, and see if there's questions or if you'd like more. Detail or not. Any questions of Brad? I think it's pretty pretty clear what's being addressed. But I do think it's efficient. Mm -hmm. Commissioner have not. Yeah, I'll fix it. You said no. Had no advance notice, yes. Didn't read right. Had not advance notice. <laughs> Guess we talk like that, person. <laughs> no, not normally. So. Well, that was, it was uh, interesting when text come to you. What's this? I don't know what it is. I mean, I didn't yeah. know what it was. Any other discussion? I know. Nope. Okay. Thank fine. you, Brett. The uh, other item, I had asked for a short executive session on um, contract negotiations, attorney client privilege. Contract negotiations, how long did it? Oh, I think 15 minutes should do it. Okay. I'll move recess into executive session in order to discuss contract negotiations under item number two for consultation with attorney current client privilege. Pursuant to KSA 75 4319B with the commission and, and commission counsel Brad until uh, 1135, we will resume into open session. Second. Second by Randy. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Well, thank you, Brad. I appreciate all that. Thank sure. You. Still smiling. <laughs> Good. All right, out of executive session, no action taken. 
Okay, Commission, do you want to continue on the evaluations or what's your wishes? I've got 20 minutes. I got till noon. I mean, we could do we could do another department anyway, probably. That's fine with me. Uh, I think in in that regards, I'll ask if there's any uh, citizen concerns, public comments. Okay, we'll get that taken care of because we'll have to go back into executive session, so you won't have to waste any more of your time. For uh, employee evaluations. Correct. For well, he will when he makes his motion. I have to make a motion. Just <laughs> Okay. Well, it's 20 till then, so okay, I'll move the recession executive session in order to discuss employer evaluations under item number one, personnel matters of non-elected personnel. So to KSA, that's 95 dash 479 b with the commission until 12 o'clock. We will resume an open session. Second. Oh, got Diane got it. Diane second. Second, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Do you want me to um, more evaluations of employees? Anybody out there, Grammy? No. no. Okay. Out of executive session, no action taken. That was the final agenda item. And so I guess that we will complete the rest. I'll just work it in on one of your other agendas. Does that suffice with the commission? Do you guys want to do I got one of these are available. So. Okay, I was looking clear at the end of the month there. We're not doing Monday's meeting. We're doing a Tuesday meeting at the end of the month and having yes. dinner that day. Yes. Okay. We either adjourn or we can keep going. I, I won't step out. Okay. Well, we'll Go ahead and try to finish these the next week or two. Okay. 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 That being said, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Second by Jonah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.